Now, we shall go to the second problem of the projection of plane problems. We have a question in front of us. A 30 degree 60 degree set square of 60 mm longest side is so kept such that the longest side is in HP, making an angle of 30 degrees with VP. The set square itself is inclined at 45 degrees to HP. Draw the projections of the set square. So again here also we have six different criteria that we will have to satisfy to obtain the solution of the question. The first criteria is the shape that is a set square. The dimensions that is the angles have been provided as 30 degrees and 60 degrees and one of the longest side that is 60 mm longest side is so kept such that the longest side is in HP. So indirectly the set square is in HP. And to be more specific, the longest side is in HP. That is the longest side which happens to be the 60 mm side. At the same time, the longest side makes an angle of 30 degrees to VP. And finally, also, we have the set square itself is inclined at 45 degrees to HP. So let us go into the solution of this problem. The first step being to draw the XY line. We have X, Y, VP and HP. Next, we have to draw the set square here in the first position top view. So again, in the first position, we are satisfying three criteria that is the shape, dimension and resting on HP. So we have to draw the set square. So 60 mm longest side. And the other two side lengths have not been provided for this particular question. But what is provided is one side the angle happens to be 30 degrees. The other side the angle happens to be 60 degrees. So from this particular point I shall take the angle to be as 30 degrees. Over here. And from here from this particular point. I shall take the angle to be inclined as 60 degrees. <clears throat> so when I join these points, I shall get the set square which is basically a scalene triangle in this particular case. So let me name the points. I have my point A, my point B and my point C. The angle of inclination over here is 30 degrees and the angle over here is 60 degrees and the longest length side is as given in the question 60 mm. So <clears throat> we are satisfied the three criteria as mentioned to you, the shape, dimension and resting on HP. So let us see what front view looks like. It's front view since we are placing flat on the horizontal plane, the front view will simply be a flat line on the XY line. So I have drawn the projection lines over here and I have my front view. So this point over here is my A dash bracket C dash and this point here is my B dash. So I have completed my first position. Now as mentioned in the question, the set square itself is inclined at 45 degrees to HP and the longest side is in HP. So as per my solution, the longest side happens to be AC that is 60 mm long. Now that AC should be on the XY line and the set square itself should be making an angle of 45 degrees to HP. So appropriately. I'll be taking a point over here, which is my A dash bracket C dash. <coughs> From this point, I shall draw a line inclined at an angle of 45 degrees. Now, I do not know what the distance from A dash 
bracket c dash to b dash happens to be let us assume it is as um, i don't know some x value so i'll measure this distance using compass and keeping it here i shall cut the arc i shall get the point b dash and now i shall draw the complete proper front view with the visible line and inclined at an angle of 45 degrees now let us draw the projection lines and obtain the front view or uh, top view for the same from the front view So I have my point A, B, and C. Let us join this with proper visible lines. So I have completed my second position. In the second position, as you would have observed, I've satisfied two criteria again. The longest side is in HP, and the lamina is inclined at 45 degrees to HP. Now, finally, come to the third position. We are satisfying only one criteria, that is, making the longest side is in HP, making an angle of 30 degrees to VP. That is, the longest side is making an angle of 30 degrees to VP. So, again, appropriately, we should take a point on the XY line and draw a line inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the xy line again take an appropriate point which happens to be my c measure the distance from c to a we know that it is already 60 mm so Along the 30 degree line, I shall locate the 60 mm point and this point happens to be my A and this point here is my C. <clears throat> so measure the distance from A to C, uh, sorry A to B, measure the distance, keeping it at point A, cut the arc and again measure the distance from B to C. Keeping that point C, cut the arc, I shall get my point B. So join all these three points with proper visible lines. I shall get the third position, top view. Now from here, when we draw the projection lines to get the front view from each of these points, so I have my first point, that is my point A. Point B. And my point C. And again, from point B, I shall draw one more projection line. We need not have to draw the projection line from A dash to C dash since it is along the XY line. So my point A and my A dash meet over here. So this is my new A dash. My point B and B dash meet over here. So this is my new B dash. And my point C and C meet here. So this is my new C dash. Join all these three points with proper visible lines and we shall get the front view. So essentially what we have been doing is, in the first position, we have satisfied the criteria of the shape, dimension resting on HP. The second position, we are satisfying the criteria that the longest side, which is AC on the XY line, that is on HP, and the lamina inclined at 45 degrees to HP. And finally, the longest side also making an angle of 30 degrees to VP. 
So three creditors have been satisfied in the first position. Two creditors have been satisfied in the second position. And finally, one creditor is satisfied in the third position. Thank you for your time.